increase and so forth. So basically, ladies and gentlemen, if you're looking at a graph, the absolute max and the absolute min represents the highest or the lowest point. Since this graph continues down indefinitely going down, we know that this is going to be our highest point. Would everybody agree? This is not the minimum, this is not the lowest point because the graph continues indefinitely. So this point is our absolute max. All right? Then, since there's no absolute minimum, the next thing we want to do is look for local minimum and local max. Well, the definition of local min and local max is between a certain range of values, a point is a minimum or a maximum. So if you guys kind of think of like these dotted lines as like a range that I want to like focus in on, between these range of values, you guys can see that that's a minimum point, right? So it's called a local min, and this would be called a local max. And you can have more than one local max, more than one local min, more than one absolute max, more than one absolute min, as long as they're at the same values. Okay? But there is no absolute min because the graph continues indefinitely. So when you have the graph